What's good, ladies and gentlemen, bitch? Welcome back to the channel, recording live from this mothership where SmackDown Live shall take place once more as we progress to our weekend of backlash. Titles on the line. We have a surprise for you guys tonight in Sacramento as AJ Styles and Finn Balor will face off in tonight's main event in a preview of our backlash WWE title match. Samoa Joe coming down to the ring with that typical Samoa Joe sky. I mean, we see him walk to the ring with some kind of swagger every time, but today he looks like he's on a, a particular mission. Look, he looks absolutely infuriated. You know, I've been in this business for a long time. I've experienced my own fair share of ups and downs, you know. In life, you get ups and you get downs. That's just the way that it goes. And there's a vast amount of things I would put up with. This vast amount of emotions I've been put through. But being embarrassed is something that I will not tolerate. There are a lot of superstars backstage you might be able to consider a joke. A lot of people backstage I consider a joke. But you look at me, you look at the man standing in front of you in this ring right now. You look me in my eyes and you tell me if I'm one of those people. You look at the way that I walk. You look at the way that I talk. Do I look like a man who should be taken lightly? Now you've you all seen bro? it before. I, so. I will tear a man from limb to limb for fun. But when that man has embarrassed me... Oh, I'll do a whole lot worse. Oh, I'll destroy this man's pride and soul. And Jeff Hardy embarrassed me last week. Jeff Hardy is going to know what it feels like to be on the wrong side of Samoa Joe. So look, Jeff, since you want to play a hero, you want to pretend to be a superhero, I'm going to give you an opportunity to be a hero today. Because every single week from now on where I don't see your face inside this ring, I'm going to destroy one of those helpless fools backstage. So you better stop running from me, Jeff, and get yourself down here. Or are you just going to sit back and watch it happen like the coward you are? Samoa I guess, waiting for Jeff Hardy to... Oh, that's not Jeff Hardy. Uh, Samoa Joe is not going to be happy. I think maybe Samoa Joe, he was a little bit prepared that Jeff Hardy wasn't going to come down here. That's how it sounded from his voice. But I don't know if <laughs> TJP is walking right into the fire. This is not a good idea. I can tell TJP that. I can tell TJP that he's walking into a pit of a lion right now, a hungry lion at that as well. Samoa Joe is not going to take lightly to someone being as confident and as chill as TJP looks coming down to his ring as well. Samoa Joe obviously, speaking about what happened last week, facing off against Jeff Hardy, he took Jeff, he took Jeff Hardy off guard and he attacked him in a United States Open Challenge match and still ended up losing and I guess Samoa Joe is not taking that lightly, he feels a little bit embarrassed. But TJP, Coming down for a match with Samoa Joe. And Samoa Joe just said he was going to decimate someone. And that you think that's a good idea to come out here. I don't know about that. And we're going to have Samoa Joe versus TJ Perkins. Samoa Joe just approach him with a, a, the look of a killer in his eyes. And go straight in for a Samoa drop on TJ Perkins. I mean, we're going to talk about how stupid it is for TJ Perkins to come out here and fight Samoa Joe. But at the end of the day, it's a chance for someone like Perkins... To, to actually come out here and get some screen time that he must have been looking for for a while and show off things like that. Things that TJP can do inside the ring. But you have stepped inside the ring with a, a killer in Samoa Joe. And when he's in the mood he's in today, I mean, your chances of winning a fight like this are even more reduced. Samoa Joe is only seeing red. Look at the way he's charging himself 
charging, throwing himself for TJP. This is not the Samoa Joe we used to see it. I mean, with all the pride Samoa Joe has, that loss to Jeff Hardy, he must have hit him hard. I mean, he, 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 he had the upper hand in that match. And then some, you know, attacking Jeff before the match even started. And it still didn't work out. And now they're trading in the middle of the ring. Samoa Joe let, let, turn in, letting it turn into a brawl. And all that angle of Samoa Joe just getting himself out the ring. And giving up on this match almost. Samoa Joe needs to absolutely chill out for a second. And compose himself because... Oh, look at Jeff Hardy behind Samoa Joe. And Jeff Hardy sending Joe back into the ring with the G TJ Perkins. He just tried to escape. I mean, escape might be a strong word. But just Samoa Joe was not trying to be in there. I mean, I guess he had enough. Deemed that this match was not worth his time despite saying that he was going to destroy whoever stepped in the ring with him. And now, look, lights back on and everything. I don't know. I don't even know what's going on with that, but it is what it is. I mean, I got somebody in the lighting room uh, making sure the lighting reflects the emotion inside. <laughs> you know? The Samoa Joe, I mean, Jeff Hardy getting some with the upper hand over Samoa Joe again because now Samoa Joe's in the ring. He was trying to get out of But he does have the upper hand on Perkins. It seems like he's... He's composed himself uh, just enough. I'm not sure if Samoa Joe was actually planning on leaving the arena. Or if it was all uh, just a, a plan for him to get some time outside alone with himself. But like I say, you can see it's Samoa Joe the way. He just let that fight spiral into a brawl. Back and forth. Samoa Joe, you mean, when he's in full control mentally. You know, he can take control just like this. Just like he is now. TJ Puck is not standing a chance right now. But uh, Samoa Joe might be smelling blood inside that ring. Samoa Joe might be smelling blood. Oh, TJ Parkins getting himself out of that predicament. On oh, Samoa Joe, just again too quick for Parkins. And the beating for TJP might just go on a little bit. I mean, respect to TJP for coming out here and trying to trying to show everybody what he can do. But he's stepped into the ring with the wrong person today. I think. The big story of this match right now is how Jeff Hardy came out here. He's just outwitted Samoa Joe almost. He didn't come out when Joe pulled him out. He took his own time. Like I said, Jeff Hardy's not per not, the, not the person to run from a fight. Not at all. But he just doesn't really have any need to stoop to Joe's level. But he decided to come out on his own accord tonight and, and, and catch Joe off guard. And I guess that's gonna, probably going to make Joe that little bit more angry moving forward. And Joe has uh, TJP got him in some of an arm lock, some of an omo plata. The Joe, uh, a, a master of holds. He's got TJP in a hold right there. He's letting go. Samoa Joe might be uh, sensing something else. And Samoa Joe is sensing exactly that as he's going for the one. Going for the two. And the third one might just be enough to put TJ Perkins away. One, two. Oh, TJP's kicked out. He's not trying to go down like that. And Samoa Joe says, you know what? It's done out here. Done out here. Oh, Perkins with a reversal. Wasn't expecting this match to last as long as it did. Oh, and Joe was... Again, TJ Puck is showing some tremendous strength to actually get uh, Joe above his head. TJ Puck, how do you reverse that? TJP, you're supposed to be blocked after that reversal. I don't know how he was able to... Ooh, Joe got straight back up to his feet. Joe got straight back up to his feet. And this turn in... I, I, I really don't think this is what Joe had in mind when he called out TJ Puck. But TJ Puck is really showing something. He is really showing something inside this ring. Joe getting back up to his feet. Looking a little more worn down. Oh. Too quick for TJ Perkins right there. And who would have thought? Who would have thought anyone would have been saying that? I mean, it just highlights how good Samoa Joe is. Too quick for a former 205 Live competitor. The size of Joe mixed with the speed and ferocity is what makes Joe... The, the, the compare he is 
And TJ Puck is showing up a little bit of that speed right now inside the ring. Taking it to Samoa Joe, fights back with a forearm. Look at the speed from TJ Perkins. Oh, and a cut off from Perkins out of nowhere. And he's going for the cover. Hooks the leg. Early kick out from Samoa Joe. My, oh, my. Jeff Hardy must be in the back, smiling from ear to ear. Watching Samoa Joe have a hard time with TJP, thanks to the help of Jeff Hardy. And look at Samoa Joe catching the leg. Caught through, caught through whip for a big chop to the chest. Connects on TJP, bringing him over, sending him outside the ring. Look at Just, Samoa Joe. What does Samoa Just Joe have planned here? Right now. What is Samoa and Joe thinking? Samoa Maybe trying to catch TJP with a count out. Thinks better of it this time as he follows him outside of the ring to He's continue the offense. But TJP is just so quick as he reverses and heads straight back into the ring. Oh, Joe missing uh, Perkins right there. Getting inside the ring with the man before catching him with a reversal. This is sending him into the corner now. Samoa Joe, oh, I think, oh, I think this is the beginning of the end. Samoa Joe, muscle buster. And that, you know what? I ain't even gonna ask. I ain't even gonna count. I ain't even gonna count. That's the end. That's the end, bro. The shoulders are in the count. Samoa Joe gets the victory as we, the muscle buster. I don't know if you needed all of that. But that might, uh, that might say a lot about the heart that TJP had in this match that Samoa Joe had to go out and pull out. He doesn't pull out a muscle buster on just anyone. You see uh, uh, TJP was able to get some offense sitting on Samoa Joe. And I'm saying that might just do more to enrage Samoa Joe moving forward than it does for anything else. Because Samoa Joe, you see going into that match, was just, uh, you just see him red the way he was charging at TJP. I mean, it's not some of the Samoa Joe we're used to. I mean, he's usually cool, calm, and collected, in control. And you see it affected his performance in that match right there after Jeff Hardy got behind him, sent him back into the action he was trying to, to take a breather from. And, and boy, I'm saying that's 1-0 Jeff. That's 2-0 Jeff Hardy. Next bit of action coming in the show. It's, well, I mean, re re regarding the tag team division, there's a tag team action, but it's regarding the tag team champions. As you're going to see Scott Dawson coming down to the ring with that belt round his waist. He's going to go head to head with Xavier Woods and Connor of the Ascension. Winner, I mean, by pinfall submission, as you might expect. Regular triple threat rules intact. I mean, New Day are the number one contenders for the Revival's Tag Team Championship. But with the attack that happened last week, I mean, uh, attack might be hard. I mean, it might be taking it a little bit far. I, I don't know. You, you tell me. But uh, the Revival taking their frustrations out on the Ascension after their match last week has led to the Ascension uh, asking me for, 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 for some, some payback. And I said, you know what? I'm going to put you in this match. See what you can do. You're gonna get your hands on Scott Dawson, Connor, uh, and and you do with that what you may, you know. So heading into this match, there's there's a lot of emotion in there. Wow! For your longest reigning tag champs, and feel the power. It's a new day tomorrow. Uh, Xavier Woods about to come out here by himself. Look at the leg. Okay. 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 Oh. 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 And Xavier Woods is killing the game right there. You see the footwork? That boy out here, nothing but entertainment. The new day, I bro, I just trombone. I'm waiting for him to play it. I'm waiting for him to play it. Uh, yeah, I'm waiting for him to play it. There you go. Uh, you ain't gonna do the third one. Davy Woods, one of the three opponents for this match. Let's go ahead and get the final competitor in here. Like I said, new day will be facing off against the revival at Backlash for them tag team championships. 
uh, New Day are former WWE SmackDown Live Tag Team Champions and Ascension are former Impact Tag Team Champions. So I mean we all have our, our share of championship experience coming to the ring right now. Connor looking to get one back for his team. I mean it wasn't a brutal beating by any means, but it is something that I mean we're seeing it with some a lot of these superstars they they have huge pride huge amounts of pride and I mean being being abused and thrown out of the ring and left on the floor after a match is something that no one wants to be a part of you know but for, for reasons that were really unnecessary many would many would agree wasn't it wasn't needed you know uh, the revival were, were unhappy with I mean being put through a strenuous match I mean it's kind of crazy to say you know but I guess they were expected to, to take it easy. Have a champion's welcome uh, heading into their first first appearance for season three of this universe mode. Uh, but that's not how it went down. Xavier Woods kind of taking a backseat early on in this match. Oh, it's got Dawson A about to allow that to happen for much longer. He takes the offense to one member of the team he will be facing that backlash. Connor is kind of kind of uh, the third wheel in this match almost. Uh, you, you got a rivalry. That's been uh, brewing for a while. I mean, it's, it's been going on for quite some time. The, the new days, the new days stay around the main event scene for tag team uh, wrestling, you know. And the revival have held these belts for a while, so they've been butting heads for for, for some time. Uh, and like I said, so the Ascension are kind of the, the odd team out. They they had new new to SmackDown Live somewhat, not really a part of this back and forth, but. They've been dragged into it by the Revival, I guess that's how they feel. And let, let's be honest, you don't really need much of an excuse to get involved in the title picture. I mean, you, know, you, you ain't gonna have a reason to, to, to get involved with the Tag Team Championship. You, you, that's what you want to do as a competitor. You want to go after the championship. And if they come after you, I guess that's just a bonus. But right now, one half of the Tag Team Champions is the only man who stands inside the ring. Well, now he's brought Xavier to his feet. Big chop from Xavier Woods. Xavier Woods, I mean, honestly, one of the hardest hitting superstars on the roster, on either of our rosters, uh, SmackDown Live by NXT. Xavier Woods, we've all seen him during this time with Blue Day. The boy, the boy hit hard. We're in the ring right now. Xavier Woods sending Connor. Oh, Connor. Into reverse. Taken straight back down by Xavier Woods. That boy, that boy stomping him. Scott Dawson there! Oh, look at the flip from Xavier Woods, the athleticism! Rolled straight over. But Scott Dawson making a miss right now. Completely almost ignoring Xavier Woods. And he's not happy with any of that. And their offense is just flowing so well. And for a, for a team who, who pride themselves on no flips, just fists, Scott Dawson, I mean, they, they sure can make it happen inside the ring. But their gimmick is almost not having a gimmick. I mean, you know, it's crazy. Connor taking his anger out. Oh, Scott Dawson, this is exactly why he's been placed into the match, you know? Exactly why he's here. Brutal beat down on one half of the champions right now. <laughs> Saved by Scott Dawson rolling out of the ring and, and, and Xavier was coming in almost. Giving himself a breather. Not the only two men to stand on the champions and the number one contender. Xavier Woods rolled out of the way of that knee attack that Scott Dawson is known for. Landed out on many, many opponents, including the WWE champion AJ Styles, before making him tap in season one. Was it season one or season two? I think it was season one. No time ago. No time ago to this day. To this day. To this day. It's Sir Deontay Waterman. To this day. Ah. There he goes. Crashing to the floor. Look at Xavier Woods showing off. What is you doing, bro? What on earth is you doing? Oh boy. Big it's German suplex, suplex from Scott Dawson right there. Oh, Jesus. Kick to the back. Oh, Xavier Woods with that spinning diditor. Golly, Connor is down. He's been out for a while in the corner on the on the outside. It'll be a huge opportunity for either one of these superstars to connect with the finisher and put it to bed. And it looks like he found one. 
But the question no, is, like how much energy does he talk about? Why is the commentary still on? Why do I still have commentary? On? I honestly don't know what. Whoa, wait, hold up. Is this a notification? We're gonna find out. We oh my god, he's missing. Oh, eat the feet, connects. Oh my god, Xavier Woods was sent flying. He's gonna be pinned after that. I think it might be smart to pin Scott Dawson because he is out cold. Go for a statement on the champion. Instead, he's gone for it on Xavier Woods. And it's not worked. Should have went for the pin on, on Scott Dawson because he just ate the feet. Clothesline from Xavier Woods. Sends Connor out of the ring. Scott Dawson is still falling from that finisher. But it's not enough. Too much time wasted on that. Oh man, the way Xavier Woods was sent flying through the ring with that baseball bat. You wouldn't think a man that size needed a weapon. He went for it on Xavier Woods, straight up to his feet. And gets the lower legs taken out by Scott Dawson, who now turns his attention to Connor. He's got two people down in the ring. One, two, and a kick out from Connor of the Ascension. Scott Dawson right here, just not happy, <laughs> soaking up all of the booze from the crowd. I mean, large portion, you can see large portion of the crowd on their feet enjoying this matchup. And Scott Dawson locks in his submission, but Xavier Woods is right there to break it up, you know? And he does exactly that. Like I said, a large portion of the crowd cheering this match, but a lot of them rather boo Scott Dawson. That's, that's a sign that you're doing, thi you're doing uh, things well. You got people booing you, you know. You got some booing you, you got some cheering you. You must be doing something right, especially as someone, someone who, who carries the the mantra that the revival do. You know, they really don't care about people's opinion. He's going for a pin on Connor. One, two, on oh, a kick out from Connor. Not exactly sure. I remember what Connor was hit by, but it looked for a second that he wasn't going to be able to get that shoulder up. Only two stand in the ring at this time. Connor and Scott Dawson. Scott Dawson is able to work his way out of that hole. With three right hands to the face. Followed by a jab. Has his opponent in the corner. And look at the disrespect from Scott Dawson. You know that's going to burn. Now, what's the Xavier Woods got in mind? He gets sent out the ring. It was not a smart idea from Xavier Woods to head outside into the apron. I'm telling you that now nah, wasn't a good idea. Nah. Connor, following outside. Xavier Woods, all three superstars reside outside the ring for this moment in time. No count outs, of course, but the finish does need to happen inside the ring. Pinfall or submission, either way, needs to take place inside the square. Square circle, wherever you want to call it. What is the, where did the square circle, where did the square circle from come from? Like, it really is just a square. It's quite, I, I feel like Square Circle is, is more for, for TNA back in the day. Boss. But ooh, both men sliding the ring in unison. Look at each other and throw right hands. Almost as if they were working together unwillingly for a moment. Big connection from Xavier Woods. Going to pin the champion. Hooks the leg. One, two. Oh, shoulders up. From Scott Dawson for a second. It was looking like that was going to be it. The two worked together for a split second to take the big man down before realizing, hold up a second, we can't work together. I'm trying to finish the match. Xavier was ducks under and hits a big clothesline on Scott Dawson before again. Going for the cover, but you need to get up on the outer ring if you want time for that. We've seen it time and time again. That's just how triple threats work. It's just how it's got to happen. You either go do that or you got to have your opponent down. It's not going to work if there's a man standing in the back while you try and finish off the match. It's not, it's just not gonna work. And now Xavier Woods is paying the price for that. Left Connor standing and Connor eventually got him out of the ring and a big flap jack from Connor. Is that gonna be that? Is Connor gonna pin one half of the tag team champions? Two, oh, Scott Dawson kicks out again. Scott Dawson not giving up. The heart of a champion, the revival, just so damn strong. Big power bomb. He's covering Connor now. Two on a kick out again. What a triple threat match we're having on our hands today. 
What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Bitches, interrupting your match, mid-match uh, announcement. Go ahead and check out NXT on my boy Wolfie's channel. He is second part of this co-op universe mode. He airs on Wednesdays, we are on Tuesdays, and of course his show is not as good as SmackDown Live. However, you might still find some enjoyment over there. I mean, they got some superstars you might know and love, and uh, make things happen over there. So, before we get back to the match, go over there and check it out. These men just continue to battle inside the, for, in, inside the ring. Oh, how you get with him? Oh, he's turned his back. What's he gonna turn his back for? What's he gonna turn his back for? What's he done that for? Submission locked in from Xavier Woods. Look at that precarious position my guy has been put into. Lord Jesus. Crazy. decision here, Corey. I don't know, I kinda like it. What a match we have had on for you guys today. Oh that's it! He did it! He, that's, he does it! What? That's it, he's not gonna end it. Oh now he's gonna go for the cover. That might just be it. Surely not another kick out. Surely not another kick out. Xavier Woods pins the WWE champion. Gets the victory. Finally, I mean he done a little bit extra after kid connecting with the defeat. The 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 but boy oh boy what show these guys pour. Neither guy wanted to, to, to be the one who was pinned. Eventually one half of the tag team champions was pinned. But oh man, Connor would, I mean everyone put their heart into that matchup. I'm pouring a great show for you guys. But I might have to talk to these guys backstage. Cause none of them want to listen when I tell them how much time they got for a match. Come out here and pour the ball down. 20 minute match. He ain't even, ain't no belts on the line or nothing. Oh, Jesus. Uh, we're gonna have to come work with the magic of, of, of Fox Entertainment. Throw some advertisements in there, you know. Uh, work on quite in this short. We do have a TV deal, you know. We're gonna work on a limited time. Let's continue with the show. And here we have. Continuation of a rivalry been going on for a few weeks now. Andrade, CNO, Mess, and Rey Mysterio are gonna face off head to head <coughs> again. It's like every time one of them gets the upper hand on the other, the other seems to want a rematch. And they're getting the better of each other. The thing I'm seeing though is Andrade, CNO, Mess, seems to have some sort of plan in hand for Rey Mysterio. He seems to have some sort of knowledge going on, like it just. It reminds me so much of Seth Rollins, of old, the architect Seth Rollins, you know, where Andrade Stan almost, almost seems to be playing this whole situation like a like a banjo. Uh, whereas Rey Mysterio seems to be kind of reacting to everything Andrade Stan almost does. Uh, both, of, both, both superstars have a win over each other, so we'll just see where this goes from here. Zelina Vega all up in Andrade Stan almost in. Uh, talking, look, 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 uh, hyping him up, hyping him up like crazy. How can you lose when you have someone hyping you up that much? So surely there's a point where you hype someone up so much to the point where it's not possible they lose. Like they just, they just feel that power, <laughs> and they become empowered with. It. But look at, look, look at the way she talking shit in his ear. She's like, you gonna fuck him up? You gonna hit him with the hammerlock DDT? He ain't gonna wake up again. <laughs> look at she, she coming up. She said, bitch, you gonna bitch him? Hey, almost. You have to pick up a win. Vega has to at least at least uh put in some some kind of help. If that's how it's gonna go down. Jordan Cian Omas and Selena Vega into the ring for another showdown with Rey Mysterio head to head on SmackDown Live. Boy oh boy. In the meantime, I mean, go ahead and check out Impact. Uh, I, I, I say Impact Wrestling. Hey. Impact Wrestling coming soon. That's a little bit of a, a little bit of a shy so for you guys to look forward to. They still got Rey Mysterio's old ass uh, <laughs> time trial. Look, it's frozen. It's frozen. So there's old ass time trial from all the way back there. I mean, the Minitron is new. You can tell you that. That's some um, Rey Mysterio hometown, San Diego, California. Seems to have a chip on his shoulder coming into this match with Andre and Ciano, I mean, what's been going on between them? Seems like Rey Mysterio still feels like he has to prove something to the uh, WWE Universe. Not only to the Universe, but himself and the roster backstage. Proving that he is still up for it. Of course, in the first match these two faced off with each other, Rey Mysterio picked up a victory. However, it was visible to see 
Rey Mysterio didn't re he didn't really have too much more to put out into the match. You know, he was kind of out of stamina. He was out of shape, it almost seemed. Cien Almas picked up on that. And he made the adjustments to follow a match. And Rey Mysterio, we saw this happen before between the two. Exactly the same way. This turned out into a brawl in the beginning of the match. These two going at each other. And it seemed to work last time when Andrade Cien Almas done that at the beginning of the match. Will it happen again? I mean, he's, he's taken the opportunity to kind of drag Rey Mysterio into a brawl rather than a technical wrestling match. And it seemed like that had done exactly what he wanted it to do in the last match. Wearing Rey Mysterio down. Which led, led to, to Almas kind of having his number and getting the victory later on in the match. Is it going to work out that way again for Almas? We just don't know. We just don't know. Rey Mysterio out here. He's trying to slow it down intelligently. Intelligently slowing it down. They go head to head inside the ring. Beautiful oh! Rey Mysterio throwing himself at Almas right there. Flinging himself at Andrade Cien Almas. Trying to lift him up for that uh, snake eyes he looked. Rey Mysterio gets it around the complete other way and hits the snake eyes of his own. 1 0 Rey Mysterio, I guess. That's how he throws the one the one finger up in the sky as well. He's saying 1 0 just to see. I'm, I'm way ahead of the curve. I knew 1 0. Oh, nice move from Andrade. The thing is, it, it, it's been going down. I mean, the, the kind of narrative has been Andrade Cien Almas trying to outsmart and outthink Rey Mysterio. But look at his in ring ability in itself. Andrade Cien Almas can wrestle with the best, which is really what makes it frustrating to see him act this way. Going one on one, Almas, Almas is as good as I've ever seen inside the ring. And Rey Mysterio gave him a little bit of respect uh, during week one as well, saying similar. And I mean, when you get praise like that from Rey Mysterio, it means a lot. Almas, the action spills outside. Rey Mysterio, fearing no one, heads straight back into the fire. Unfortunately, it doesn't work out all too well for him. Almas. With the working hold on the arm right there. Zelina Vega seems more than happy with how this match is going up to this point. Game plan and all probably fleshed out between the two of them. And look at that from Almas. She gains control of this matchup. Rey Mysterio out here dressed like a goddamn uh, PlayStation character. <laughs> really dressed like a PlayStation character. Gang beast fighter and shit. Uh, Almas been in, in, in control of this match for the large portions up to this point. And just as I say that, Rey Mysterio fights his way out of court. Oh! Oh! Where is that? Where does Rey Mysterio get this momentum from? 6 1 9! Where does it come? Rey Mysterio's going top rope. He's going pun the top rope. Fox Splash connects. Hooks the leg. Is he going to snatch it out of nowhere, too? Shoulder up from Almas. Oh man, these two really doing the most out here, stomping at him. Oh man, oh man, oh man. There's a lot, there's a lot going back and forth between these two guys. You can see, there's just a lot of feeling in it. Almas turns, wow, wow, oh my god. I thought he was just, I thought he was just going to go for a basic uh, moonsault. Nothing basic about Andrade Cien Almas' moveset. Because he pulled some specialized repertoire right there. And unfortunately, it didn't connect for him. Because he really took a bump right there, hitting the canvas. And now an even bigger bump is his head must rattle off of that spinning tornado DDT as Rey Mysterio pulls it out. And Rey Mysterio has really capitalized on that miss from Almas. Has Almas exactly where he needs him now. But Almas is fighting back slowly. Elbow to the midsection. Big clothesline from Almas follows. Might he be sensitive? I mean, we've no, we've seen this tactic in the last one. Is to wear down Rey Mysterio. The longer this match goes on, the better for him he feels. Uh, will Rey Mysterio ha has he worked on that from last week? You know, is he in he, each with each week? Rey Mysterio is gonna get in better shape. Cardio is gonna be there, but you can see that working hold. Only designed to wear down your opponent those working holds. Oh, oh wow! 
of nowhere the Hamelok DDT came. That is exactly Andrade Cien almost plan. Two, three, and he picks up another victory over Rey Mysterio. My oh my, Andrade Cien almost seems to have his number. You see exactly the game plan unfolding before our eyes. Rey Mysterio seemed to give what he had early in this match. Hit the 619. It wasn't enough as Almas kicked out. And then from there on, Almas impl uh, 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 implementing working holds. Just wearing down at uh, Rey Mysterio. And straight after that long working hold, Hamelon DDT put in play. And the finish came from there. Oh man. Rey Mysterio, I mean. He's gonna, how is he going to rectify these problems he's having? Almas seems so proud of himself for working it out. He seems to have Rey Mysterio figured out. But is that enough for him? He's going to have to wear and see. You already see and Almas picks up another win over Rey Mysterio. Oh, man. Bruh, this show has been wild up to this point if I ever see one. And whose theme music is this? Wait a minute, who's dropping music and ain't even putting shit on the time? Is that Bailey? Is that ba <coughs> That's Bailey? Talk about a new look. Bailey is coming out here now. Last week, Bailey had a match with Charlotte Flair and just snapped. She lost it. Midway through the match, she tried to roll, uh, she, she, she started with a little dirty tack using the ropes to her mind and stuff. She lost the match, and then she went backstage and beat down Sasha Banks. It's meant to be her best friend. Bailey, we still ain't seen her since. But she's got a new theme song, a new look. What's going on here? Oh, Lord. She's not getting a good reception, I'll tell you that, but, bro. Baby, she's got a mic, I mean, hopefully she explains exactly what happened last week when she took the chair to, to Sasha Banks and absolutely ran through her. I mean, it was, it was hard to watch at times. Isn't it funny how everybody loves a bad guy as long as they're justified in their actions? You know, Maleficent. The less, as long as the bad guy has a reason to do bad, everybody loves them and everybody understands. Everybody knows where they're coming from. Everybody feels their pain. Isn't it more funny that there is no one more justified in their reasons than me? And isn't it funny that the one time... It makes sense that everybody loves me. Is the one time I couldn't care any less. You know, as I left the arena last week, I saw I saw nothing but kids' faces who looked so shocked they couldn't believe what I'd done. And all I heard nothing but people wanting reasons, wanting an explanation for why I did what I did. But the second you see Samoa Joe this morning. The second you see Jeff Hardy enter the arena tonight, nobody remembers what even happened last week. Nobody cares anymore that I put Sasha Banks in hospital. Isn't that crazy? And that's exactly why I'm done. I'm done dropping blood, sweat, and tears in this arena for you people who couldn't care less. Ten years. Ten years I've clawed to the top of this business and not been recognized one second for it. Ten years I've come out to this arena to this K-pop crap of music that I've been supplied. I've danced. I've thrown up the wacky arm inflatables for you people also you can love me. All because I thought that your love would get me to where I needed to be. How stupid. How stupid could I have been not to see that the only person who could get me to where I want to be is myself? There will be no more of that Bailey you do and love. There will be no more dancing. There will be no more jolly smiling. There will be no more hugging from me. 
You're gonna see a different side of Bailey starting for today. And the one thing that tethered me to the old Bailey, the one thing that would have tried to get me back and tried to convince me not to go this route was Sasha Banks, my old pal. There is nothing from the old me that will survive, and I can guarantee you Sasha Banks will be one of those things that will perish. So you know what I did? You saw what I did. I took a chair, I put it against her back, and I did it again and again and again. You know why? Because I will destroy anybody again and again and again if it means getting my hands on that SmackDown Women's Championship. So the new Bailey has arrived, and that all starts today. Bailey is coming out here talking some real strong words and leaving the ring to silence. People are not happy with that, Lord. Look at the way people are staring at her in her face, Lord God. Interestingly enough, Bailey's uh, announcement to the peeps has uh, come right before a women's matchup. If Natalya is going to face off here against the SmackDown Women's Champion today, you know why I put Natalya in the game. Chief, I mean, I already love Natalya, bro. They did her good in the game. Oh, she coming. She thick. And when you see that side on view, she got my hump, my hump, my hump, my hump. Natalia's just fine in general. Look at it from the back, that crease. I should have said from the back, that crack. Natalia looking good as hell. She's going to face off against Asuka, though. Asuka again is all up in my office asking for matches. You, It's great knowing Asuka behind the stage. She's just such a true competitor. Always trying to stay in shape. Always trying to stay ready. Uh, never wanting any sign of ring rust. And she just wasn't satisfied with the, with the challenge from last week. Dealing with Lana. In, in about a minute, you know, just putting her to sleep, it was crazy. Asuka, I mean, we, we bumped up her challenge some bit as she's preparing for her title defense at Backlash against Charlotte Flair one on one for that. She didn't even bring her belt, I'm asleep. She really didn't even bring her belt with her. Is there a reason for this, Asuka? Asuka, is there a reason that you've come down to the ring and you've left your, but I guess she doesn't want to stunt. She ain't trying to stunt for these hoes. Cause that's got, you've left your belt. I just want to let you know. I just really want to let you know that you've left your belt. In case you didn't realize. But there she is. Your Smackdown Live Women's Champion in case anybody was wondering. But uh, she decided not to take the belt with her. They're going to go one on one head to head. I wonder what both of these superstars think about the new, uh, uh, announcement that Bailey just came out with. I mean, like I said, right before this matchup, uh, like commercial break, obviously interrupting. But uh, I'm wondering what she's thinking about that because she, she goes down, you know, it goes down. But they lock up against the ropes. I mean, this is already a, a massively stacked uh, roster right here. We got in this women's division. So with Bailey having a newfound fire almost, and we know how dangerous Bailey could be on any given day. She has her eyes set on that championship more than ever now. Could be huge. They lock up again, however. I mean, like I said, Asuka wasn't really satisfied with the challenge of Lana last week. But uh she's not gonna get much more talented compares than than Natalia. And Asuka saying no way as she jumps over that drop kick and again they lock up and Asuka. Having the strength advantage again, having Natalia locked up against the ropes. And last time, Asuka threw a punch on the break. Not this time. As Asuka, since coming... Wait a minute! Is Bailey taking the piss? Because she's dropped the music. She's dropped her old school music. And she's charging to the ring. I think Bailey's having a, a little laugh at the expense of the WWE Universe. As she hits the Bailey to belly. And the referee's blown the whistle. Bailey has interrupted this match. Asuka is given the win. But Bailey, for one last time probably, has dropped the music, interrupted the match, and hit the Bailey to belly. What the fuck? Oh man. And it's main event time of the evening now. As we got AJ Styles, the WWE Champion, facing off against Finn Balor. No championship 
on the line for this one. But boy, oh boy, it's still going to be a show for you fans because we have two of the hottest superstars in the business. Two of the most talented superstars in the business. Two of the hottest commodities WWE has to offer. That includes NXT. Fish was one. That includes NXT. Damn T. NXT trash we call it around here. And SmackDown Live has the best roster ever. <laughs> WWE Champion AJ Styles facing off against his opponent Finn Balor at Backlash for the WWE Championship. But today, these two guys really, I mean the competitors they are, they wanted to know what they're in for coming from Backlash. And I said, you know what? Usually I wouldn't do this, but uh, go ahead and introduce you to the remix. I'm not trying to be. <laughs> and usually I wouldn't do this. But we'll give the fans a treat because the SmackDown Live audience are the best fans there is. So we're going to get a phenomenal one versus Finn Balor here tonight as a little bit of a reward for you boys. A bit of a reward for you boys. I can't wait for this matchup backlash when the championship goes on the line. Now I have no doubt these superstars are going to come out here and they're going to test the waters a little bit. They're going to test the waters but by the end of this match they're sure going to know exactly who exactly what they need to do exactly where each opponent has the upper hand and exactly what they need to do to win that backlash and it's just gonna make that matchup that much better come the pay-per-view oh i can't wait hold on hold on flick the jacket Finn Balor earned the opportunity to face off against AJ Styles at Backlash one on one for the championship. Last week when he faced off against Mustafa Ali and was able to defeat him. Finn Balor came out here looking for, uh, looking to activate his rematch clause with AJ Styles pretty much. Ric Flair said, you know what? That's old news. That's old news. That rematch clause stuff, that's old news. Ain't hanging around here. Ain't gonna fly. If you want a championship match against AJ Styles, you're gonna have to earn it just like anybody else would. And Finn Balor came out here and he did exactly that. He earned himself a chance to call himself the WWE Champion once more out here in this universe mode. And right now, we're going to see two of the best go head to head. I wanted a rhyme, but I really couldn't think of a rhyme off the top of the dome like that. I could have said something stupid. Like, then we go to bed. You know we don't do them things. Running drop kick, opening it up. I would have bet my house that we would open this match up with some sort of lockup. But it didn't go down like that. AJ Styles with a quick, swift, athletic reversal. And a nice counter to boot as well. WWE Champion not trying to show any respect to his competitor right here, to his challenger. As he knows, this is probably his toughest test to date. I mean, that's opinion all, of course. He's had some tough opponents, but uh, this is a real tough one that's going to come up against him right here. Finn Balor, I mean, he's faced off against people like Baron Corbin, Eddie Guerrero, Ziggler, Rollins. Uh, beat them all. Finn Balor is... Uh, 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 what's the word? What's the word I'm looking for? Arguably, that's the word. Finn Balor is arguably, arguably, Finn Balor is arguably the best compare he will come head to head with. But the same can be said against Finn Balor. I think the same would definitely be said against Finn Balor. AJ Styles is definitely the best opponent Finn Balor is going to face during his time here on SmackDown Live. Oh my god, Finn Balor is going for it. Oh, AJ Styles, sorry, he's going for it early. He's locked the calf crusher in. Calf crusher. Finn Balor looks like he's in tremendous pain, but he looks like he is able to firm it, but he still needs to escape. Oh, and he manages to. Like, it was one thing to be able to hold the pain, but you can't hold on to that pain forever. You have to find a way to either get to the ropes or get out of that submission. Finn Balor. Able, I'm um, sorry, AJ Styles able to kick out of that quick pin, early pin from Finn Balor. Connecting with a DDT on the champion before hitting that stomp. 
double foot stomp this time. Followed up by a swinging kick. And Finn Balor letting out a huge shout in the crowd. Finn, Finn Balor really believes that he is destined to get that WWE Championship back. You talk to Finn Balor backstage. You talk to some of his friends, people he hangs around with. And they'll tell you he believes it is his destiny to be WWE Champion. He said... He had other business to attend to, which is why he didn't return straight back to that championship after coming back from injury. But um, now he feels like the time is there's no better time than to head for this WWE Championship. We asked him about how he feels about AJ Styles being a champion. He, he said he, he said he knows how good AJ Styles is and he respects that, but it's not gonna stop him. You no, know, he says he feels like he's on the same level AJ Styles is on, which is why he's going for that shot right now. You know, I mean he could he he could have. Uh, Maybe go for some more tune-up matches, but Finn Balor's not that type of dude. He's got AJ Styles in the corner now where he would want him, however. He's setting him up, taking a step back. AJ Styles is looking a little bit groggy. He needs to get out of the way, and he isn't able to get out of the way. Shotgun drop kick into the corner, and Finn Balor might be in prime position to pick up a victory over the WWE Champion here tonight. Finn Balor right in position off of the top. Oh, good a girl connects, and he's looking the leg straight away. This might be it. Is Finn Balor going to pin the WWE Champion? No. Kick out, shoulder up from AJ Styles. Finn Balor can't believe it, neither can I really. He's going straight back up to the top rope. What's Finn Balor got in mind this time? I think he's going to go for his elbow drop. Was the attempted maneuver. AJ Styles got out of the way. Has Finn Balor up on his shoulders now. Oh, and drapes him up against that top rope. WWE Champion was just a tenth of a second away from losing to his number one contender. And now finds himself in control. That is something you can see from the from, from the best in the business at all times, you know. Uh, the way they could swing momentum just like that, click of a finger, it, it, it's amazing. It really is. And he's slowed it down. That's the wrestling IQ of AJ Styles now with a working hold. On Finn Balor. He's given that up. He might be looking to put this match to bed. Just like Finn Balor was just a minute ago. Finn Balor fighting out of it. Here it goes. Putting AJ Styles in position. Set out powerbomb. Goes for the cover. One, two. And a kick out again from the Phenomenal One. How's AJ Styles been able to kick out both times right here in this matchup? AJ Styles again stalking the beginning of the end. Finn Balor, oh, he's put in position, wasn't able to counter this time. Stars Clash is in full effect as it connects. Bars, rolls him over. One, two, is it going to be it? Three, and AJ Styles gets the pin over Finn Balor in a preview of what, is that going to be what we see at Backlash this coming, well, next coming weekend, sorry. Not this coming weekend, AJ Styles. Could have had it over early maybe with the calf killer. Wasn't able to do it and Finn Balor's time came shortly after as he hit that shotgun drop kick. Followed by a coup de gras. And AJ Styles was able to kick out. It looked right there like Finn Balor was going to fight back. As he reversed an incoming Styles trash attempt. Continued to mount some offense of his own. But AJ Styles bounced right back. Hitting a Styles clash and pinning Finn Balor. AJ Styles right here wrapping up this night of episode. Uh, I, I said this night of episode. This night of SmackDown Live. This is it. One more week before Backlash. Before we go, make sure you check out Impact Wrestling. Uh, Impact Wrestling. Make sure you check out NXT over there on 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 the trash side of Universe mode. I mean, they go all the superstars you 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 kind of forgot about. You know, all them people like Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, all them people over there. Trash our show. But for the ratings of the universe mode as a whole, go ahead and check it out. <laughs> you know, that's it from us. Catch us next week. Peace.